Welcome to the Innovation Coffee Break. Today we will show you how driver monitoring functions can easily be prototyped using a graphical block-based framework for development and execution of multi-sensor applications. Before handing over to my colleague, who will present a live demonstration, I would like to quickly recap on key benefits of our all-rounder RTMAPS. RTMAPS lets you develop faster. You can easily drag and drop components required by your algorithm from a huge component library and execute application in just a few clicks using an intuitive graphical front-end. RTMAPS framework is an integration champion for components of every kind, like sensors, buses, communication interfaces, viewers and simulation systems. You are free to use your favorite programming language such as Python or C++. RTMAPS is fully adjustable to your specific needs, letting you focus on actual development tasks without compromise. We will briefly show it on an example of a driving monitoring application. In cabin monitoring becomes an integral part of the European New Car Assessment Program for passenger cars, short Euro NCAP as of 2023. From 2024 on, driver drowsiness and attention warning will be required for the approval of new trucks and buses. Developing driver monitoring systems could be a challenging task. To overcome adverse lighting conditions, specific near-infrared cameras will be required. And to address the robustness of detection algorithms under various conditions such as different age of, uh, or sex of the driver, eyewear, facial hair or occlusion, deep learning will come into play. RTMAPS can help here with its unparalleled flexibility to bring in-cabin monitoring systems to the market faster. Now, I'd like to hand over to my colleague to give you an impression of easy and quick development of driver monitoring application with RTMAPS. Thank you, Gregor. In-cabin monitoring system can have multiple use cases like driver drowsiness detection, pose detection, gaze estimation, and many others. Implementation of these use cases makes the autonomous driving safer and more conceivable. We can identify where the person is looking and which information are missed by the driver from the gaze estimation in in-cabin monitoring system. Here, we have implemented a simple demo of gaze estimation in RTMAPS using only a webcam. The demo is implemented in a way that some driving scenario will run on the screen and the portion of the screen is highlighted after dividing the screen into nine equal parts. The user needs to look at the different part of the screen, keeping the head stable, as the algorithm behind the demo uses eye tracking. This is an overview of the case estimation, which is realized in RTMAPS. An image of the face of a person is given as input through a webcam. A face is detected from the 3D face landmarks using Google MediaPipe algorithm. The points of interest and their information are extracted from the face landmarks. Further, this information is processed to estimate where the person is possibly looking. The region is mapped into the screen using camera trigonometry, and at the end, the region is highlighted. Next, I will show how we can realize the shown concept using RTMAPS. It is simple to use the components from the given packages by drag and drop into the diagram window. Also, we can register the packages according to our requirements from the Explorer. The Explorer has various packages which are pre-developed and ready to use. Here, I want to use webcam image, so I will register RTMAPS webcam package from the Explorer. Now, I can use webcam component from the registered package by simply drag and drop. As the Google Media Pipe algorithm works on Python, I will have to use the component which supports my own Python script. For the purpose, we can use Python bridge component, which is inside 
RTMAP's Python bridge package after registering it. Drag and drop Python bridge component into the diagram. From the specific property of the Python bridge component, one can load own Python script. The inputs and outputs will be adjusted as per the script written. Also, it is possible to use external libraries which are developed or open source inside the Python script as you can see here. I am using Google's MediaPipe, OpenCV and other libraries according to my need. It is straightforward to develop your own RTMAPS native component using C++. The component can be generated using Visual Studio and building the solution. Once the package is ready, we can register the package like we did from Explorer. We can use the component inside the package similarly as previously done. Now the Python bridge component takes a webcam image as an input and the outputs of the component are forwarded to other components here screen divider. So I will have to join the inputs and outputs. The joining of input and output is easy and quick. We can finish the entire diagram with the same way. This is the final diagram which I am going to use for the in-cabin monitoring demo. Here, the condition blocks are useful for conditional execution of the RTMAPS blocks. For example, in this diagram, initially the blocks responsible for calibration will run and after it is finished, rest of other blocks will be executed. Let us run the demo now. Once the demo is running, the screen with a dot on center appears for a while. The user is asked to look at the dot and the information of face will be gathered for calibration purpose. After a while, some driving scenario will appear on the screen and user may look at different part of the screen using only eye movements. The RTMAPS diagram will estimate where the person is looking and the final result of the diagram will be highlighted portion of the screen with some different color. Thank you, Tusha. I hope you like this quick demonstration. Feel free to evaluate RTMAPS and as a student, you can use it even free of charge. Thank you for joining us and see you soon. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.